welcome to the new rock on Woohoo! Whoa, damn. It took us a while, right Dominic? Did you miss the vlogging? Of course, I've missed <laughs> the filming. Yeah, me too. And yeah, for those that don't follow my Instagram account, maybe you don't know, but I had a big uh, crash with my stunt bike in Spain and I injured my knee, so I needed an operation. And it took me about one month to get back and to finish the rehabilitation. Now everything is okay. I can jump around and finally I can ride my bikes as I want to. We did a few how-to vlogs already. So how to wheelie or how to rolling stoppy or how to drift. It's really cool to see the messages that you send me, how you learn the tricks that I try to teach you on YouTube. And that's why I decided that I want to teach you another trick. It's actually one of the oldest tricks that was done on the motorcycle and it's called the seat stander or as we stunt riders call it, the Christ air. The seat stander was done way back in the day when the Harley riders, after they finished up to build their bikes, sometimes they wanted to show off how well they did it and that the bike goes straight, not sideways. So they did the seat standers and that was just one of the reasons. But probably one of the main reasons is because that trick is super fun to do, still is. And a few days ago, I came up uh, on Facebook to a Duker girl and I saw a seat stander she did. She gave me uh, the inspiration to do that vlog and she goes by the name Jet Girl on Facebook and on Instagram so give her a follow she is really cool girl and yeah so let me show you how to do that trick I will teach you the seat stander in four steps but before we go to the first step uh, let me tell you our important thing safety protect your bike or with a crash cage or a sub cage like my Duke has front sliders as much as possible crashed your bike well that happens need time and cash to replace the parts well that doesn't need to happen we've taken the fall for you and made parts that are not only efficient but also make your bike look good simple as that with your help we are expanding our product range by growing the family of passionate bikers like you we are in it for the ride Bagarosh Performance. Get your parts at bagaroshperformance.com. Then next thing, very important, protect yourself. Proper jacket, helmet, boots. The more you have, the better it is. And the last thing, a proper practice spot. Not a public road, but find a nice long stretch of a parking lot or something similar where you don't put yourself in the danger or somebody else. And that's it. Safety check done. Let's go to the first step. Step one, you need to put the bike on the stand. If you don't have it, find somebody to hold your bike. And you, you go sit on the bike. And here I'm gonna show you a dry exercise. This is the first thing that you do to get a feeling how it actually feels when you stand on the bike. Before I stand up, few important things. If you run a steering damper, put it on the lowest power. I know it sounds contradictory, but it's true. The handlebar needs to be like agile and shouldn't be too stiff. Then the next thing is you need to reach a certain speed that the bike becomes stable. If you go too slow, that means about 20, 25 kilometers per hour. That's pretty slow, so the bike starts to get wobbly and you can crash so I suggest you to go around 50 kilometers per hour uh, for me that's in a fourth fifth gear and try to go a higher uh, gear so once you leave the throttle that the engine brakes isn't so strong than in the lower rpm so you can move longer while you are standing on the seat so that's pretty much it and now I'm gonna show you how to stand up in the seat standard position so of course we are riding fifth gear 50 kilometers per hour some like professional stunt riders they jump but as a beginner you can go slow on the seat with both legs try to go in the outside not too much together the more you go apart with the legs you have more stability so you're gonna ride in about 50 kilometers per hour and in that position when you feel safe you just leave the hands from the handlebar you start to balance and when you have a good feeling you just slowly go up and you straighten up 
And that's it. Now important question is how to come back safely back to the sitting position. So it's a one smooth movement and it's actually you reach for the handlebars in the same moment you go into the frog position and you jump down back on the foot packs. And this is how you get back on the seat. Let me show you one more time in a faster movement, in a normal speed. So like this, you see I'm sometimes jumping down on the foot packs. One more time. So I'm in the standing position. Boom, like this. Okay, one more important thing. There are gonna be a question what to do if I lose the balance. Let me show what to do then. So I see my bike is going sideways and that's a sign I need to return as soon as possible back to my handlebars and keep the bike under control. So I'm just jumping down. That's when you see that the bike is losing control but you still can catch it. What happens if you can't control it anymore when the bike is real and you lose the balance? What you need to do, we always do that as stunt riders and I recommend if you learn that trick what to do is just jump down you protected your bike you protect yourself so you're minimizing the damage already so you shouldn't be too worried about the bike the next effect that gonna happen you're gonna land somewhere here the bike still continues to go you try to grab your bike pull yourself with your hand to the handlebars and grab for the clutch and of course the brake to stop the bike and that's how you can control the, the damage and uh, yeah, just keep doing that dry exercise until you feel safe enough and then you are ready for the next step. And don't worry, it's a pretty easy exercise. So let's go to the step two. Okay, time for the second step. Let's remove the bike stand and it's time for the first proper riding. Give me a second. Let's put this on the side. Okay, second exercise and this exercise it's foot pack stander. That means I'm just gonna stand up on my foot packs, squeeze the bike together between my legs to control it and reach the speed that I need that my bike is stable. For me it will be probably about a fifth gear, 50 kilometers per hour because I have a pretty big sprocket on the back, 56 teeth and probably you will have a much smaller sprocket so for you it will be between third and fourth gear. The higher the gear is the better it is so when you release the, the throttle the bike gonna still continue to go forwards so let's switch on the bike let's do that exercise okay first second third fourth and fifth gear 50 kilometers per hour I hold it a little bit so the bike is stable I released the throttle I squeeze my bike together and stand up and when the speed drops I go back and I turn around. Pretty basic exercise, but it's pretty important for the coming exercises. So again, fourth gear, I accelerate into the fifth. I hold it here, 50 kilometers per hour. I stand up, release the throttle, you see, and the bike continues to go. I'm holding the bike together with my knees and the speed drops. I go back and turn around. One more time, you need to repeat that exercise until you feel comfortable. So I'm gonna accelerate third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, 50 kilometers per hour. I release the throttle, I stand up, I hold my bike between my legs together and I really control it. And now I go back down and I need to turn around. That's why it's super important to have a, like a longer stretch so you can have enough space to practice that trick. One more time, second, third, fourth, fifth gear. You're gonna be probably in the fourth or third gear because you have a smaller sprocket, 50 kilometers per hour. I release the throttle, stand up, squeeze my bike between the legs and just glide and go back, pretty simple. Okay, once you feel comfortable with that exercise, you're gonna continue to the rolling frog. Let me show how this works.
Okay, time for the next step, step three. I'm gonna call it the rolling frog. And why that name? Because we're gonna move with our legs on our seat and we're gonna stay in the squat position while we are riding. And the goal of that exercise is to get more confidence for leaving the hands from the handlebar and to stay in that position and try to balance with the bike together. So let me show you how it's done. Let's start the cameras. Okay, like before, we need to reach the certain speed where we feel safe, about 50 km per hour, go with both legs up and leave the handlebars just a little bit and grab it again. We're gonna repeat that exercise few times and the goal is to leave the hands from the handlebar as long as possible and far away as possible. So let's reach the speed. 50 kilometers, leaving the throttle, moving the hands and just stay there as long as you feel safe and then back. Step down, turn around, one more time, second, third, fourth, fifth gear, 50 kilometers per hour, okay, leaving the throttle, go up on the seat with my legs and release the hands from the handlebars and just hold it and you can really feel how you can move the bike with your legs if you push with your legs on the left the bike gonna go left if you push with your legs right the bike gonna go right but don't overdo it because it's not really the goal to move your bike or left and right is more to control the bike let us try one more time before we go to the next step the last step the seat stander okay reaching the speed so you always hold it a little bit and then release the throttle and then you go up on the seat and release the hands from the handlebar exactly boom that's it that's the rolling frog once you feel comfortable on that trick it's time to move to the next step Okay, now it's the moment that we've been waiting for. It's time for the seat stander or the Christ Air. Name it as you want it. Important is, it should be a steady movement from the squat position, from the rolling frog. Just go slowly up and hold it there. Don't be wobbly with your legs. Be confident and just hold it. In case you, you start to lose the balance, just go quick back to the handlebar and back to the foot pegs. Okay, let's go. So, pick up the speed. 50 kilometers squat position leave the hands go up and we are standing up on the bike and go back let's do one more as you see there wasn't a lot of steps before the seat standard is a pretty quick learning curve and yeah it's just to be confident and steady so always be careful that you have enough space in front of you okay let's pick up the speed third fourth i'm gonna go in the fifth let go the throttle squat position holding there leaving the hands Opa, you see i just lose the control so my bike start to do that one left and right and that's a sign you need to return to the starting position or otherwise you're gonna crash so the because i was too slow so once you get slow the bike starts to lose the balance okay let's pick up the speed squat position and stand up you see now the bike is faster as i see 25 kilometers it starts to lose the balance so i went down so i have this when I see on the speedometer that I have under 30 kilometers, I need to be careful and be ready to go back into the position. So find your speed that your bike feels comfortable and steady. Pick up the speed. Fifth gear. Let go the throttle, squat position, steady 
movement and go up and we are standing speed drops going back to the sitting position that was the seat standard guys let's do one more man that makes so much fun <laughs> this is one trick that was the, one of the first trick that i learned on my uh, on my scooter back in the day okay 50 kilometers go up and that's it you see boom slower speed i need to go down so guys that's the seat standard who just repeat it as long as you feel safe and when you feel enough confident just go straight and up when you when you stand straight you have more control but you can go step by step from a frog position then a bit higher 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 until you stretch out your legs okay Okay, Dominic, your turn now. You did a burnout challenge. Now it's time for the seat standard challenge. Okay. What do you say, guys? Here's your camera. Okay. Let's go. G give me the camera. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, guys, that's our how to stand on the bike. And I hope you like it. I hope I cover all the important points. I'm quite sure I, I did so. And have fun learning that trick. And before we end this vlog, we have something important. Uh, Dominic, we didn't forget, right? From the last vlog. We had a giveaway. Exactly. So with Zeitz Master, we prepared a limited edition posters from the Mad Rabbit picture and looks dope and we need to give five away so we said drop a comment under the video or under my instagram post and tell me what's your favorite thing on the new stunt bike since there was millions of comments again uh, i'm just gonna randomly pick uh, somebody from the comments so my youtube is open so that's the video so i'm just gonna scroll down scroll 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 and first one is just being awesome so yeah that's a long comment i love how the highlights really complements the dark mode of the bike drawing you uh, blah 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 the rear wheel idea also reminds me on the track bicycles have to race around the dome as a kid i always loved the design and now seeing it on a motorcycle is awesome so just being awesome you're now even more awesome because you have a limited edition poster congratulations i'm just gonna do a screenshot so we don't forget who this was okay scroll 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 daniel cardozo the carbon wheel cover is absolutely spectacular super unique and i will definitely make your bike the best bike for the 2020 season daniel cardozo congratulations you have a limited edition poster so since I see, yeah, everybody loves that carbon uh, plate on the rear wheel. That's the best thing. That's the best thing. Beside the color, I love the color scheme. Also, Dominic, what you say about the sticker kit? In, this is in the same one, right? Yeah, in the recent vlog, we didn't have the sticker kit, but now we have it. But this is for the stock bike with a, you, you see, it's a white, white plastic and really fits if you ask me, if I ask myself. <laughs> <laughs> it looks dope. It what do you say? Cool. It looks cool. Right, huh? It's actually the first time we shoot a vlog with the new graphics. Uh, okay, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Lasse Gustafsson. I definitely love the rear wheel cover. Cover again. Uh, but also the text on the fuel tank. Okay, Lasse Gustafsson. Sorry if I don't pronounce your name properly, but you just won a limited edition poster. How is my hair, man? I feel my helmet hair doesn't really work with me today. <laughs> okay, we have three people. Sorry, guys, I would give more posters away, but we have only five. Uh, I'm gonna go now to my Instagram account. If you don't follow me yet, you should, because you can win some awesome stuff like limited edition posters, helmets, jackets in the future. We have something special coming up. Uh, Not just to win something, to also to see my awesome pictures. Uh, right? True, exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, true, that, because 99% of pictures is yours, definitely. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes I don't get the joke so fast. So yeah, definitely a lot of Dominic's 
cool photos that we do around the world is on my Instagram account. And what we do is also a lot of raw videos with my phone, right? Yeah. Like just, I feel that I feel really good on the bike and I want to throw a really sick trick. Grab my phone, Dominic, let's make a quick video. And we have a lot of those videos on Instagram also. For oh, sure. Okay, so two guys from my Instagram. So from the post that we posted, we win a poster. First one, I'm just gonna give away to the first person under the comments that pops up. It's uh, the person named Killswitch, and that's a cool uh, nickname. He says, it's like a MotoGP bike with a rim cover, but in general, a great street or stunt bike. The combination of those designs make it so special. Okay, Killswitch, you just won yourself a limited edition poster. I hope you're gonna put it somewhere in the house. The frame, in the frame. In the frame, exactly, yeah. <laughs> frame or Slovenian. Okvir, <laughs> last one, last. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, 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 roll. Okay, k dot ubae, kubae, kuba, kuba, kubae. That means it's going to Cuba or what? Cuba. Maybe it's going to Cuba. I don't know. We have fans all around the world, man. Uh, the wheels, because they show the originality of thinking beyond a standard wheel. And when I think of those wheels, I think of rock. Posted video in the story, but account is private. Uh huh. Okay. He posted a story, but uh, I can't see his story because his profile is private. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, Kuba. You just want yourself a poster. I hope everybody gonna enjoy it and sorry to others, but don't worry, a next giveaway will come soon and we have a very special one. So that's it, enjoy the posters and we're gonna have a lot new giveaways coming up. Helmets, maybe some jackets, hint, hint. Yeah, okay, bike for now we will not give away, but uh, that's it. I hope you like it, guys. Okay, guys, so that's it for now. Uh, I have a good feeling about the vlog. You have? Yeah, for sure. Me I, ho too. <laughs> I hope you guys gonna land the trick and learn it pretty quickly and safely. So now I go to edit the vlog and if you are not uh, already subscribed to our channel. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button and yeah, if you don't want to miss the vlog, it's important, hit the notification button. Bottom? Button. Yeah. <laughs> okay, button. Uh, shout out to the notification squad and yeah, I would say this is for this time. See you in the next one. Until then. Rock on! Oh, the camera is heavy! Rock on! <laughs>